Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain some more problems related to permutations and combinations. See here. Find the number of rectangles uh, that can be observed in a 9 by 9 square grid. Here, suppose for example, instead of uh, drawing 9 by 9 square grid, uh, I will take one small square grid which is uh, 3 by 3. 3 by 3 square grid. See, if you observe carefully, this is a 3 by 3 square grid, right? In 3 by 3 square grid, we are having how many horizontal lines? Once count, 4 horizontal lines. In 3 by 3 square grid, we are having 4 horizontal lines. And uh, how many vertical lines? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 vertical lines. 4 horizontal lines and 4 vertical lines. In the similar fashion, if you choose a 4 by 4 square grid, then 5 horizontal lines, 5 vertical lines. Why? Because uh, here number of horizontal lines and number of vertical lines are one more than the given square grid. Here, here it is a 9 by 9 square grid. If we are talking about 9 by 9 square grid, in that 9 by 9 square grid, we will be having 10 horizontal lines and uh, 10 vertical lines. 10 horizontal lines and 10 vertical lines. And these vertical lines are perpendicular to these 10 horizontal lines. Okay. So, we need to form a rectangle. We need to form a rectangle. Rectangles are formed by taking two horizontal lines and uh, two vertical lines which are perpendicular to the horizontal lines. It means that any rectangle is formed by joining uh, these two vertical lines, uh, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Uh, total we are having 10 horizontal lines and 10 vertical lines. Uh, selecting two horizontal lines out of 10. Selection is nothing but combination, 10 C2. And selecting two vertical lines out of uh, 10, that is also 10 C2. Now, we want total 4 lines. 4 line selection is completed at this point. Till then, you have to use uh, multiplication only. First, calculate 10 C2 value. 10 C2 is nothing but 10 into 9 divided by 2 into 1, which is equal to, here it is uh, 5 times 5 into 9, that is equal to 45. 45 into 45. Here, 10 C2 value is 45. 45 square. What is 45 square value? Here it is uh, 2025. 2025. Last two digits are 25. 5 square is 25. And uh, if you want to get the remaining digits, this number is multiplied with its next number. 4, 5 is 20. Therefore, 45 square value is 2025. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. This is very important. Uh, as we discussed uh, in the last sessions, uh, one, of, uh, one of the problem related to this model. But uh, this is uh, one uh, one more method, uh, one more uh, model which is asking in different approach. On the sides AB, BC, CA of a triangle ABC. Here there is a triangle ABC. Here this is A, this is B and this is C. On the sides AB, BC and CA of a triangle ABC, 4, 5, 6 points respectively are selected. Here on the side AB, 4 points, BC, 5 points, CA, 6 points are selected. Here AB is 4, selecting 4, 4 points. These are the 4 points. BC, 5 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And AC, 6 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 points. These are 4 points, these are 5 points and these are 6 points. Now the question is, how many triangles can be formed by joining these points? How many triangles? Number of triangles. Number of triangles formed, which is equal to, basically total how many points are there? 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is equal to 15. Total we are having 15 points. Total we are having how many points? 15 points. Now, 
in order to form any triangle in order to form any triangle we must require three points we must require how many points three points and those three points should not be in a same straight line right so here to form any triangle we must require three points selecting three points out of total 15 points selection is nothing but it is a combination 15 c3 ways 15 c3 ways here so many students are confused at this point only they will directly keep the answer as 15 c3 but this is wrong answer why because total number of triangles are formed are 15 c3 if all the 15 points are non collinear if all the 15 points are non collinear here according to this diagram if you observe carefully on the line ab four points are collinear on the line ab four points are collinear so you cannot able to form even a single diagram by using those four points so you need to subtract the number of triangles formed by using only those four points that is 4c3 selecting three points out of four and in the similar fashion on the side bc we are having five points and we cannot able to form even a single triangle by using only these uh, five why because all these five points are same straight line bc so you can subtract that value also 5c3 after that uh, similarly on the side ac six points are there by using those six points we cannot able to form even a single triangle you need to subtract uh, minus 4c3 minus 5c3 minus uh, 6c3 that will gives you the exact result uh, here first calculate 15 c3 15 into 14 into 13 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 here it is three table three fives uh, and next uh, two table two sevens uh, now you can multiply these two here it is 13 into 7 91 91 5 sir here it is 5 and uh, uh, 9 5 sir 45 455 here this value is 455 minus 4 c3 is nothing but 4 c1 which is equal to 4 minus 5 c3 5 c3 is nothing but 5 c2 which is nothing but 5 into 4 divided by 2 you can cancel with 2 table 5 into 2 10 minus 10 minus 6c3 6, 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 3 factorial which is equal to 6 here 6 6 gets cancelled 5 4 is 20 so 455 minus 34 subtract these two what you will get units place is 1 tens place is 5 minus 3 2 and uh, this is 4 421 total 421 triangles are formed by using uh, those 15 points uh, out of those 15 points 4 points on the line ab and 5 points on the line bc and uh, 6 points on the line uh, ac 421 is the required answer some people will kept the answer as 455 that is 15 c3 value that is wrong answer Please be kept in mind, you need to subtract uh, these three numbers. Uh, minus 4C3, minus 5C3, minus 6C3. Very important point. 421 is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, there are nine non-concurrent and non-parallel lines. Total, nine non-concurrent and non-parallel lines. It means... Uh, those are the uh, total nine lines are there and those nine lines are not uh, uh, concurrent and also not parallel to any of those uh, like this uh, here three seven and uh, eight and next uh, nine see these are the nine non-concurrent and non-parallel lines uh, now the question what he is asking is uh, find the possible points of intersection possible points of intersection what is meant by point of intersection point of intersection is nothing but whenever two lines are joining 
when two lines are joined then we'll get a point of intersection so by using nine non concurrent and non parallel lines uh, uh, here not even a single two lines are parallel to each other if two lines are parallel to each other we cannot able to form a point of intersection so there is no doubt in that uh, out of these nine lines uh, how many point of intersections will be formed that is a question he is uh, asking uh, selecting two lines out of nine why we are selecting only two lines because uh, point of intersection is nothing but uh, uh, we must require only two lines uh, number of uh, points of intersection which is equal to 9c2 9 into 8 divided by 2 into 1 that is 2 here it is uh, 4 times uh, now 9 into 4 36 36 point of intersections will be formed by using 9 non concurrent and non parallel lines 36 is the required answer for this question guys i hope you enjoy the session Thank you, thank you very much for watching.